Did you know that India and France jointly developed a satellite called Megha Tropics 1 to study the water cycle and energy exchanges in the tropics? Launched in 2011, it was designed to have a mission life of three years, but it ended up working for over a decade and providing valuable data for climate models. However, all good things must come to an end, and so it was time for Megha Tropics 1 to be brought back down to Earth. The Indian Space Research Organization carried out a series of 20 maneuvers to slowly lower the satellite's orbit and burn up in the atmosphere. This was done to ensure that the satellite did not shower down debris and impact people on the ground. The deboost maneuvers were planned carefully, taking into consideration various constraints such as visible re-entry from ground stations, ground impact in the targeted zone, and maximum thrust and firing duration of the thrusters. The space agency worked hard to ensure that there would be no close approaches with other space objects, especially with the crewed space stations like the International Space Station and the Chinese Space Station. The controlled re-entry was particularly challenging because satellites like Megha Tropics 1 are not designed for it after the end of their mission life. Furthermore, the satellite had been sitting in orbit longer and lower than intended which meant that several systems had lost redundancies and their performance had degraded. However, the operations teams across the ISRO centers worked together to overcome these challenges with innovative workarounds. ISRO has been taking proactive measures in recent years to improve compliance with internationally accepted guidelines on space debris mitigation. The United Nations and Interagency Space Debris Coordination Committee recommend that satellites be deorbited either through controlled entry over a safe impact zone or by bringing it down to reduce the orbital lifetime to less than 25 years. In the case of Megha Tropics 1, the orbit of 867 km with a 20-degree inclination meant an orbital lifetime of over 100 years. Over 120 kg of fuel was left over which was estimated to be sufficient to achieve a fully controlled atmospheric re-entry. This provided a unique opportunity for ISRO to test relevant methodologies and understand the associated operational nuances of post-mission disposal by direct re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. In conclusion, the controlled descent of Megha Tropics 1 was a successful operation that ensured the safe disposal of the satellite and prevented the creation of space debris. ISROS efforts to improve compliance with guidelines on space debris mitigation are commendable, and we hope to see more such initiatives in the future. We hope you found this news story informative. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.